hit him on the numbers. Dropped the ball, incomplete. And here's a big one. Third down and ten. Three wideouts to the right side. They're looking in that direction. They will throw the ball, and it will be caught at the 45-yard line. And I'm not sure who caught the ball. We'll wait for him to on file. That will not be a first down. And it will be uh, Wilbert Biggins, I believe, who caught the ball. He was the last man out of that stack. We'll check and see if we get a replay. That picked up only two yards. They're not coming this time. And it's a boomer by Davis. He got all of that one. All the way back here is Adams at the two. He's going to try to get a return. Knocked down at the 10-yard line. He took that over the shoulder at the two and uh, then returned it out to the 12. And that's ill-advised. That would have gone into the end zone. They'll lose eight because he elected to return the ball on a running catch over his shoulder. 53 yards on the punt. Split backs. Now they go with a uh, heavy eye. Straight drop. Gardier from the pocket. Time to throw. Well over the middle. Going to be caught. Out at the 20 by Brown out of the backfield. Short of a first down by a yard and a half. Then Adams is the flanker left. Split in here on the right. And they'll go on a draw out of the backfield. And that will be close for a first down. I think they're going to spot it, though, at the 21. And if they do, that's a half yard shy. Marcus Buckley made that stop. Extra tied in. And now he shifts out of the backfield up to the line of scrimmage. Jacks just one tied end of the ball game. Ags dancing around they're going to pitch it left to walker flag is down he's wide open on the left side at the 40 45 50 he is out of bounds at the aggie 44 yard line but there is a flag down back at the line of scrimmage and i suspect this flag will be offsides against the aggies and this play will stand but we'll see what the officials have to say offsides a m play stands as he carried down to the a m 44 yard line Gardier with a split back formation. Now they go to a shift and they have a heavy eye. Straight drop back from the pocket. Sets up, throws right, batted down at the line of scrimmage. Someone got a big hand on that and knocked it down. It may have been Keith Chatham. Chatham. Texas now on second down and 10 from the AM 43 and a half yard line. Gardier long count. And they have play action from the pocket. Throws deep. Has a man there. Knocked away at the last minute. Nice play, Aaron nice Glenn. Play. Down at the 13-yard line. That will be the 20th knockdown of a pass this year for Aaron Glenn. And he was step for step with Mike Adams, the intended receiver. And he got a hand on that and knocked it away. Aaron Glenn in man-to-man -man coverage on this post route with Adams. Both of them with great speed. The ball on Adams' hands, but Aaron Glenn over the back after it hit his hands was able to knock it away. Now third down and 10. Adams, Sam Adams leaves the lineup. I think we've gone with an extra defensive back. Two down linemen. Here's the snap from a shotgun. Gardier being pressured, steps up in the pocket, and he throws it incomplete on a third and ten. Clock is stopped with 38 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Texas leading 3-0. McClanahan punted once earlier for 43 yards, has a five-mile-per-hour wind at his back. Has the ball. The kick is a high one. And a fair catch. Up. Here's Frazier backing away from it. It gets an Aggie roll. It gets a Texas roll, and now we'll go down to the five-yard line and be killed there by Texas. High formation. a and on the ground. They'll go to the fullback. That uh, will be Doug Carter. Carter's out across the 10 to about the 12. What they want to do here is make sure they hold on to the football and move the ball out. To, well, obviously, they want to move it down to get a score, but at least move it out so they can get a good punt away and pin Texas deep in their own territory. Time has just run out of the first period of play, and Texas leads 3 to nothing over the Aggies. Slot to the right, break it, motion now to the left side. On the ground, it'll go to Greg Hill. Greg has the first down, 20, out to the 25, 30, hit from behind, carries the man with him down to the 34-yard line. To the 34, Greg Hill, Joy Ellis brought him down from behind. Broke it out to the right side, 22 yards. Excellent piece of running for Greg Hill and also excellent blocking by the offensive line. This is what we've become accustomed to all year long. The Aggies starting slowly, feeling their way along, and then as they go through the ball game, getting stronger and stronger. Here on the first play of the second quarter, Greg Hill breaks it out to the 34-yard line. Nice game. Started at their seven, and now out to the 34. Heavy eye, motion, left side, Hill, outside corner, great block. 35, 40, trying for the first down or pushed into the Aggie bench right about the point needed for the first down at the 44-yard line. High formation, motion right side. Thomas now in the ball game, and they'll uh, give it to Rodney straight ahead. 50, hits a man head on, trying to strip the ball away, spins away from another, and he's down to the Texas 40. 
just into the second quarter of play, an eye formation. Carter the lead back, Thomas still in there. They're going to give it to Doug. Doug hits the right side, has some yardage. He's all the way down to the Texas 30, and that will be enough, I believe, for a first down. Pin on the carry by Doug. Starting to open up now. See if he can make something happen on this drive, and again it goes to Rodney. He'll get five. He'll get about six yards down across the 25 to the 24. Van Malone caught him around the ankles and brought him down, and that's about the only way you bring down Rodney Thomas. Thomas into the game tonight, 137 carries, 778 yards for his career now, over 1,000. He came into the game tonight, 1,072. Ags need the Texas 20. It's right at the 24-yard line. Again, an eye. Motion back to the open side from Ryan Matthews. And once more, they'll hand off to Rodney. Nice hole, hits the 20, has the first down. If they give him his forward progress at the 20, pitch it left side. Hill looking for an opening. Can he get the uh, hole? He does just for a moment. Gets it down to about the 15. McKeon's the tight end. No change in the offensive line. Eye formation at the 15-yard line. Long count. Going to give it to Hill. Looking for the right side. He's at the uh, 10 and wrestled down at the, not the 10, he's shy of the 10 at the 13. Split back formation. Motion. Snap the ball with a second on the clock. Here's a lot of pressure on Pulling. He'll throw the ball. It's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Now nine at the 9. Line. First down. By McKeon. McKeon caught it at the 9. First and goal. Well, he dropped one earlier, but James that time will wrap it up and then be dropped down at the 9. It'll be a first and goal for Texas A&M. That was a nice play by McKeon. Oh, Texas fans are booing there, but the officials were Johnny on the spot to mark it at the nine-yard line. And a great play by Corey Pulling, who was under some pressure, but he stepped up in the pocket. He let his offensive lineman move the Texas defenders around him, and he found McKeon for just enough for the first down. Knocking on the door. The drive started at the seven. Hash mark right side. Motion back to the open side by Matthews. It'll go to Rodney. Rodney with about three people on him. will get it down to about the six. McKeon the tight end on the right side. Long count Pullig. It's going to go to Thomas. Thomas has a hole. He has a chance. Did he get in? Touchdown. Touchdown Rodney from the six. Excellent call by Bob Toledo. He had two wide receivers way out to the left. He put one in motion. That was the decoy. Texas expecting the pass. It's a delayed draw to Rodney Thomas. He goes off the left side for six yards. Picks up an Aggie touchdown, 6-3 to three with the point to come. And Atulius now with David Davis to hold on the extra point at the 10.05 mark here in the seconds. Taking a lot of time. Still plenty of time on the 25-second clock. Spotted down, kick is up, and it is through and through. The Aggies now at 10.05 to go in the second half, their first lead of the night. They take it from Texas. Texas ahead 3-0. Now it's A&M 7-3. The touchdown came on a six-yard draw play to Rodney Thomas, and it made the score the Aggies 7 and Texas 3. Here's the Venetilius kick, and it's a dandy. It's going to go out of the back of the end zone. It hit right on the end line, and they'll bring it out to the 20, and Texas will have it first down and 10 at their 20. Have offsides on the Aggies on the kickoff. And they're going to make us uh, re-kick it. And Atulius kicks again from the 30. He kicks a sidewinder that's going to go into the end zone. It went over the head. It's a sidewinder over the head of Mike Adams and about out of the back of the end zone. So again, bring it out to the 20-yard line. Single setback. Gardier, the quarterback. And will put the ball in the air from a deep pocket. Throws back in this direction. Throws it by Lavelle Pickney at about the 25. And Gardier is now 4 out of 10. Here they are with a... Two wide outs showing to the right side and are changing the play in a single setback. They throw back in this direction. Two, uh, Pickney again. He caught the ball at the 25. That'll be a five-yard pickup. Ags with one of the defensive ends out of the lineup. High snap. It's going to be a draw out of the backfield. It's going to go to Adrian Walker. He's trying for a first down. Did he oh, it's get it? be close. Oh, awfully close out to the 30. Walker on a draw. Went right side. And let's see where they spot the ball. Brought down by first Jason down. Atkinson. First down, Texas. Texas to the line. First down and 10 at their 30. They'll run from an eye formation. And they're going to go to the air. They pump and now going deep. And he has a man there. And he's going to throw overthrow everybody at the 40-yard line trying to hit. Mike Adams drew coverage from Derek Frazier. Bates was coming over, and so was uh, Hurricane Hendricks. Pigney and Duke are off to the uh, left side. They have a slot with a split back. Now they shift to an eye. Well, they give you a lot of movement between those two backs. 
And they will go on the ground on a draw up the middle, out across the uh, 35 to about the 37. That will be shy of a first down on a 